Schneider Electric is a global leader in energy management and automation for over 175 years. With more than 7,000 field service representatives and 170 service centres across the world, safety has always been a core value. These simple steps ensure Schneider Electric provide the best-in-class customer service in a safe working environment for both our employees and our customers. When Schneider Electric FSRs arrive on site, they bring with them decades of manufacturer-level expertise and the latest technology and equipment to deliver a best-in-class service in a safe environment. The process is simple, but each and every step is essential. First, we meet the customer representative so that all required documentation and identification is checked. Then the customer will give an initial safety briefing about the site condition and any issues before they go through to the electrical room. The Schneider Electric team will have already completed a hazard assessment and written work plan based on the scope of work in preparation. This plan identifies all the known hazards with this activity. After reviewing the site, they will create a point-of-work risk assessment detailing all the site-specific hazards and work practices to eliminate any hazards. The customer will have provided a single-line diagram to help identify all energy sources. The Schneider Electric team will always check with the customer to see if any known modifications have been made since the diagram was last updated and will take these into account. Occasionally, a customer asks us to perform work without full isolation. If this should happen, we are the recognised experts in electrical safety and we need to explain to the customer the hazards, both shock and arc flash, associated with working on or near energised conductors. If the customer is unable to support a safe work environment, we do not take any risks. Immediately, we contact the Schneider Electric Manager and discuss the situation with them. Remember, our safety principle, unsafe, we stop work. If the arc flash risk is not identified on the electrical equipment, we use the arc flash risk tables to estimate the arc flash risk. We always ensure that everyone inside the arc flash boundary is protected to the appropriate level. All of the required safety equipment must be available and utilised before any doors or covers are opened to expose energised parts. FSRs will select the appropriate category of PPE for the task being performed. Remember, all conductors are considered energised until locked out upstream and verified with the proper measuring device. Barriers are erected at the shock boundary or arc flash boundary if it is greater to protect unqualified persons and those without arc flash PPE. A rescue hook is available if the emergency isolation device is outside the room. For safety and contractual reasons, the customer switches off all the loads on the installation. Not all isolation devices are load brake switches and hence the load must be removed first. All phases, including neutral of all conductors in every cubicle that will be opened, must be isolated and verified de-energized. Remember to consider dual fed systems, ring main systems, generators, UPS and batteries. Each worker must be protected with their own unique lock. One lock for each worker. The lock box is a perfect solution for team lockout tagout. When a lock cannot be applied to the isolation device, a tagout system can be used, but only when an additional level of protection is applied, for example, a safety watch person guarding the isolation or isolation of a second upstream device. The voltage detector must be appropriate for the voltage present. It is tested before use, used and tested again afterwards. If access to the conductors is restricted, it is recommended to use a proximity tester first and then, when required, a properly rated contact tester. Every conductor in every cubicle must be verified de-energized. Any control circuits that remain energized must be covered with a voltage rated blanket. The earth or ground cables, often referred to as personal grounds, must be inspected for damage before use and ensure that they can withstand the fault current. 
The cable is first connected to the ground bus and then to the phasers. Labels are then applied to the cubicle to indicate the location of the ground cables. If the cubicle is fitted with system grounds, they must be inspected. Often, not all cubicles in the switch room will be isolated. We must clearly identify the cubicles that remain energized, both at the front and at the back. Low voltage control circuits may also need to be protected. The sign-off by the customer ensures that they have seen all the steps of the process. All the workers sign the roll call sheet, which is used to account for all workers when the job is completed. The second work shift apply their lock before the current team remove theirs. When testing, we clear the area to ensure no one is in contact with the equipment. Also, we must isolate the cables, upstream and downstream equipment to control the test voltages path. In case of cable testing, we place a safety watch person on the other end of the cables to ensure no one is in contact with the other end. Before re-energizing, ensure all the work has been complete. We must first replace all guards and close doors and account for all workers checking they signed the LOTO check sheet. All personal grounds are removed, temporary signs removed, tools counted and finally locks removed. The arc flash risk remains until the equipment is operating normally, so ensure all those inside the arc flash boundary are protected. Use remote racking and operate switches remotely whenever possible. Besides all those steps, our teams have to constantly care for one another. Always be aware of team stress and fatigue levels before performing any work. Also, each FSR taking part in the job must have adequate certification and qualification. In some cases, we are engaged with non-Schneider professionals and this qualification check is also applied. To avoid skipping any of the steps described in this video, our FSRs have to be alert and mentally use our safety mantra to safe start any work, checking on themselves as much as their colleagues, assessing risks and skipping no steps in the process. These simple steps ensure Schneider Electric provide the best in-class customer service in a safe working environment for both our employees and our customers. Remember, always lock out, tag out.